within the Manor Lords ecosystem. And as um, if you're new around here, uh, know that I play historical games mostly, and I talk about the history of the period and the time. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to get to that when we're looking at Manor Lords here, early access, and this is an early access play with now at updated today. Uh, as I'm doing this, uh, to 0 0.7.92. So a slight upgrade from before. So we're playing that. And I have a question to start off the, the day. And I'd love whether people live um, later on are going to uh, react to this or um, not. You know, Manor Lords is set in the medieval period. So, it's in the late late Middle Ages, before the Renaissance, before the printing press. Could the printing press have saved the Roman Empire? Because they had lots of books in the Roman Empire, but they did not have printing. It was all hand copying. So, it economically kept it to very few people that had that knowledge. Could, if we will say, I don't know, modernity of the period, um, I do sort of consider the Roman Empire a modern period. Uh, if it had spread out more, if that knowledge had spread out more, could it have been more resilient and survived the stresses? And I don't think it was the barbar the barbarian invasions that that ended the Roman Empire. I mean, that was a major element. It, like I said, major element. But we also see plagues hitting, coming from the east, hitting into to Rome. Um, well, actually, through through Byzant, you know, through Constantinople and out into the west. That very much, um, you know, is the nails in the coffin of the empire and so much knowledge was lost but right let's let's continue this here i'm just clicking around checking making sure everything is running good it's looking good it seems um and yeah it seems to be doing good so hey um right okay early access you want to see Manor Lords, we're going to load in this. Okay, it is winner. It is the first winner of playing this. We, I have rushed in. I would, everybody who's going to play this game, who's thinking about playing this game, get to understand the economy first. Let me find this. The economy is critical here. I started playing the economy only scenarios and I recommend highly that you do that until you feel very comfortable with the economy. Why did I just hear that word for I don't think anything important now? Um so get get your economy going. Get to understand it before you um, really try to go into uh, the ones with combat and other types of struggles. So just work to understand that first. So, and very quickly, I've been able to get up to where we have a manor here. No, no fortifications around it, but we have a manor. We have... Um, this is winter, so but we do have no one should be. Let's just make sure no one's at the foragers' hut, but it's out there. We let's see. We have where hunting camp. Nobody's there. Good because we've predated down the the prey um, low. We have some fields are all set to fallow. We have a farmhouse. Um, we are building a communal oven. And, a lot, and we're upgrading to a large storehouse right now. Now, our military is 20 spearmen strong um, and 5 um, warriors of the retinue. Let me pull out here. 
we have two enemy or potentially enemy we have to conquer them to win provinces i don't know if they will attempt to expand i have not played very far in this mode but we do know of a bandit camp over here so we're going to let this work out here a bit Hello, people over on Rumble. Say hi if you're really actually there. And you can say hi if you're on Twitch or YouTube. Okay. Uh, being claimed. Oh, okay. Where? Um, uh, okay. Uh, that's over here, I guess. Well, that's a little beyond my current thing, so I'm going to use King's Favor, use or negotiate resolve claim on the battlefield. We're not going to do that yet. We are getting ready to deal with bandits right now. So like I said, we not played into this beyond here, so So now we have a communal oven built. We are upgrading our... And we have um, stables with... Would be two... Uh, okay, so now he has three areas. Oh boy, this is going to be tough. Get this. Use the manpower. Get the storehouse. Yes. Nearby bandits took eight of our firewood. That is what we're going to go deal with this as soon as we can. Get this completed. Okay. We have this completed. We have large storehouse. We can now store up to 2,500 things. Right. Now we have thefts from bandits which are located um, right here where did I, well, I just baby did okay so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna come to the army screen and we're going to um, call them forth we're gonna come here and we're gonna call these guys call them forth Okay, we don't want them running right now, because notice that effectiveness, they're not really terribly effective. Um, these guys, we also don't need them running. Uh, why are you not letting me... Here we are. Here we go. Run. Just, just walk. Just get here. Don't panic. I know we've called forth our army. And so these guys are a bit better protected, a bit better fighters. Where these guys are just um, spear and shield. Right. Okay, so we're going to need to get over to there, so we're going to march down this road. Deal with some of the bandits that are attacking us. Or stealing from us, I should say. Pretty soon we're gonna we're gonna upgrade some buildings and get to making some bows, but we're not yet there. But I think we can take on the bandits over here. Keep them marked.
morale is a very um, important part of any battles. Uh, it is also killing the enemy too is important, but Okay, so now that we've come over here, they've noticed that we're coming. So let's slow up a bit. Let's come over here and I think right about... Oh, let's do it maybe here. No. No. Uh, I don't know. Okay, no. Just do it this way. Let's do two rank file for them. And we're going with these guys come. Let me go run through. Hopefully we can get into formation before they do. Uh, before they attack us, I should say. They can get information whenever they like. But... Stay together! Right, now, I've noticed the AI tends to want to attack the smaller formation. So we're going to, again, we have these guys, so we're going to come here like this. Yes, sire. And these guys are going to come here. Keep it two ranks deep. They're way over here. to speed up a bit. They've got 16 guys. We got 25. I think we'll do fine. Hello, Arno. Me, your crazy but fun Dutch overlord. Uh, I don't think you're the overlord, Arno. Please, please limit the mental psychosis to just a little bit of mental psychosis. And you're also Arno's over on YouTube as well, yes. Okay, so the guys are like taunting the enemy, I guess, by waving their spears up into the air. And their other things. I don't know if I told them. I don't think I told them to do this. Okay, and see, these guys are coming for... These 16 are coming for these five. So I can write in... So what we're going to do now here is, with these guys, we're going to go to push forward, and we're going to come in on their flank. And we can click on these guys. They're at 57% effective, the enemy. We're at 101 for our main knights, and... For our Spear Militia, 75. So you can win either by killing them, and often I, the enemy, often I've done that with archers dramatically, or win by just reducing their combat effectiveness enough that they run away. No, no, you only know how to sink your own land, Arno. The, the, the sink land button you guys have, it just sinks your own. It doesn't sink anybody else's. Okay, we've got a new message in here. We receive reports of raiders roaming the nearby lands. We'll be ready. Okay, I don't want to immediately start to track those people. Those are a problem, potentially. But we, we, we're in the middle of a battle here. Those rules, ruler's army was sighted, yeah. And brigands are down to uh, what, half, no, 11 strength. And 52. Okay, so they've given up the ghosts. So we're going to keep our formation together. And, well, no, actually, we're not. We're going to... Now, now that you we're done with combat, um, 
you want to disband these forces because they are um, you need them to go back and be workers but you can't when you're outside of your own province so I'm going to send them back to there and we're going to send the retinue guys marching over to here No, no, not, not you, not, no, no, you, okay, you come this way. Well, that's how to deal with basic brigands. Okay, now that they're in your own territory, you hit this band unit, and they go back to being workers. And now they still have to walk all the way back and get back to, to work. But they're heading that way. Now, you do want to come over here to the bandit camp. Now, currently, we have five silver left here and zero in our treasure, in, in our lord's treasury here. Here we plunder their camp, get a new message. Okay, when searching through the enemy's belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could be... This is early access and made by foreigners. This could be sent, S-E-N-T, um, to your people who surely need them, though it is your right to keep it. We can put it in the treasury and you'll get money. Sometimes I think we can see the resources um, will include money and or other resources, maybe things they stole from you or just other stuff. We're going to send them to the nearest town since we only have one town. We can now see we got regional wealth up. Um, oh, well, we, you see goods too. So we got um, seven. These are some things I think they stole from us. Seven. Um, Hides, 12 wood, two, because I remember they did steal two recently, um, two batches of eggs and 107 silver. So that's added to this treasury. So we're going to send you back. Now that we have this wealth, one of the things we're going to do here is pick out one of our larger plots here, and we're going to turn it into a vegetable garden. What job do these people have? Um, well, they're carpenters. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So that way it'll give us some vegetables to our market. No kick today. Yep, I just didn't bother with it today. Yes, and I see hello over on mobile. It does say we currently have six viewers. I don't know exactly what that means. I don't know if there's six people actually watching this, or six people have looked at our thumbnail recently or something. I don't know. Looks like we double game from that. Yep, it does. But we also have here. Oh, we upgraded to town and I waited for this and I forgot. Okay. Um It seems a lot like and we can see here the pause, yes. Um you start in an area that has limited fertility most of the time. So we have some very little flax, a little bit of barley fertility. Um rye normally can fill things, but we have a decent amount of wheat or emmer here. So I put some plots there. 
So I think we're going to do between that and we have um, a large rich deposit, which if we really want to, we could double that here. That would be a mega a rich deposit. I do have a new a new update here, and I so I haven't posted my videos. I've just been busy with all kinds of things, um, including sleeping too. But that's another issue. Uh, when I was last playing, apples were bugged, meaning you they would grow, but they would never make it to market. They would never be a tradable resource. They just piled up in there. Um, so unless you're going for currently, well, again, I don't know what this update, they may have fixed it. Um, sheep breeding is a good way to get lots and lots of wool, though they've put in a limitation there. I, if we're going to need money, we're going to need re mining resources, we're going to need helmets and plate, but we're going to go down our... Um, I don't need charcoal burning too. Where, yeah, I mm, think we can wait on that. Fertilization. Burning. Uh, just here again. I want to reconfirm. Okay, um, uh, uses fuel. So if we're going to be making iron to then, um, at a blacksmith shop, which is in, uh, well, it won't be here, uh, an upgrading of a house, um, to get more um, weapons. Well, we're, we're going to be doing bows next. So, okay. So we probably don't need to go down either to get, this is to more efficiently get, turn firewood into two charcoal better, or to get armors and mail made up just yet. We may need that. So, um, I think we're going to do heavy plow. Man, we're, okay, we're, we're coming into mark here. So we have our base economy of food and fuel is okay, but we're, we're going to have to do more than just that. Um, so what we're going to do here is, is we're going to add a plowing station here so that they will plow these fields more efficiently. Um, yeah, the other thing we should see about doing here is, what is our current wood stockpile? 11. Okay, let's... I don't know if it's going to let us do this. Let's try. Yeah, just too steep here. Okay, that is a bit of a unlooked for thing. It sort of started in a not so great position. Let's see. I know we're going to come in here and get three more houses while, while we can. So, guys, coming back from the battles here. They're just all coming back finally. How was the war? How was your war? War was good. Nobody died of our team. That done. Let's move that to 
high priority. Summer's coming soon. And soon the season's... Is it possible to upgrade houses? Yes, absolutely, Arno, and we will be doing that very soon. Um, right now, our um, current problem is, uh, well, none of these have clothing supply or food supply at the moment. Um, just because our markets here are empty because we've been out fighting and we've not had um, people um, working in the granary or storehouse because of the going off to fight the bandits. So it does take the householder who has the um, vegetable garden some time to, um, you know, pl uh, you know, hand plow it up here and keep it, um, you know, working. It does take a bit of labor. Why did that slow down? I don't think I slowed it down. We have another one over here um, generating eggs, which we have two and two batches of eggs in storage. Now, when we click on one of these houses, we see that it has all it needs to upgrade except for clothing supplies. Now we'll get there. Okay, we have here. Um, this what we're going to do is we're going to say wheat which is only 35 percent damn that is low 40 percent we are just it seems to be with a bunch of starts and i've made a bunch of starts and saves each you know the map is stays the same but things like um where the resources move around uh the fertility levels move around so that that varies okay we're going to come out here while that this is growing, we're going to hit it with two, two workers all the way out there. And um, what we have here, um, oh, we have okay. Stop working there. Nobody working there. Okay, so we're going to, we, now that this is upgraded, we're into March. Do we have anybody working the hunting lodge? No, good. So we're going to have five people working the, the fields here. Five families are said, Hey Ragar, how you doing? Yes, everyone is playing Manor Lords. They must have given out a lot of copies of this if everyone's playing it. I was grateful enough to to be I'm thankful that I was given a copy of the early access to the game. Oh see now um, here is what we should do is come over here, livestock, add one of our, um, one of our two, uh, um, mule things, uh, our bullocks, he's transporting, he'll be over in a moment. And he'll, he'll help plow. Oh yeah, now it's coming out, I think, in about, what, two or six days? I forget exactly the, the schedule. And we probably don't need the oxen to plow this, but... 
fairly small starting fields here. Maybe I should have had him over here at the beginning. workers there we got these guys out gathering yeah I know there's no one working on the construction of these plots up here but that's fine I want to get okay see now now you'll see that they'll he'll exclusively plow this one field with one person so it's more efficient to do so um early in the phase as opposed to have all these people working we all know what that means. Now let's take a quick look here at emmer fertility now we don't want to put anything too close over there because it'll drive it'll either drive off or otherwise not be good for our um, let's see when we highlight this here we don't want to put anything in that area so we're going to come over here and create another yeah, another field for um, yeah we have a very poor very poor um, fertility here. And hello, Eric. Oh, you've been kind of sickly last week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ragar, I hope you get well. I really do. Man, sorry to hear that. Now that this is fully plowed, they'll start to come over and sow it while allowing uh, our oxen to take over plowing that field. Another army was sighted. Where, where, where? Okay. Okay, so it's over there. They're coming, taking this by battle. Are they actually populating this or just claiming the territory? They may just be claiming the territory. Let's see here. Um, well, 36 and 36 and 17 and 17. That would be pretty damn hard for us to take. Okay, well, hopefully we've got time here. We need to get our um, our money going here. But we, well, we got to continue with... We need food. Seven months of food currently, but this will very much help Okay, so we've got another family joining as settlers. Okay, that'll allow some people to work on finishing up some of these homes. Okay, how is our forager hut doing? Okay, they're doing okay. No, what's that saying? I'm good. Hello, Squire Arno. You've been packing most of my military items today as well as starting up Red Dead 2 single player. Ah, yes, from our 
movie night. Uh, we watched the uh, Magnificent Seven last night. Okay, now that this should be fully plowed or virtually so, 96%. So all these workers here that went off to take a break because they've sowed that field and that one are going to come over here and sow this one. Hopefully soon. Okay. Yeah, they're they're done. So what we're going to do here, we're going to come here and we're going to reduce down livestock so he can do other jobs. And hopefully they'll come over, all those workers will come here soon and so. Now we have a large storehouse with 26 of... Uh, um, mm -hmm. oh. Do a road like that, maybe. Let's just put a road here, and then come over here and build a tannery. Uh, not enough goods. Okay. Let's put a one worker over there. One tree family over there. Okay, we've sewed here. Okay, so we don't need to keep any of these people currently working here. So you all go do other things. Um, I see that we've got our... Ray, or, yeah, up. Okay, so... Um, granary. Let's throw on another worker on the granary. Throw another one there. Do that. Just overhit it because right now it's growing, so we can really plunder the resource. Good. Uh, clearing out this area. I'm, I'm, I'm deforesting it as a plan. We'll, we'll use other areas with forest. Once I deforest this area and put in houses and other things. Manor House got Manor House, not how Manor House got put in a forest because it's sort of a little bit on the hill here, and I'm thinking it's going to be a good place to sort of fortify here a bit. It just happened to be in the monks' trees because I really very much in building this have looked at things like fertility here and over here, so I didn't want to build, you know, here or, or here where I may be doing crops. And so I put it here somewhat near the town, but in an area that is going to be unfertile. And some more. So 
Okay, area being claimed. Okay, well, that's over here. We do not have the military force yet to face off against any of these. Please note I said yet. I'm hoping to be able to, to deal with it in time. I don't know that these guys are claiming it. If there's any sense of anything but claiming it. I don't know that there's any villages, any um, economic activity benefits to them. So, yeah, it's not like there's settlements there and people doing things. Do they have? Okay, now they have some. Yes. What I need to do now, like I was starting to try to do here. Let's. There we go. That, that looks nice. We'll do that right there. Cannery. Use that. Just one guy working, or one family working that. We need to get a clothing supply so that we can upgrade, and then we can get a Fletcher shot going. Can't really claim any areas yet. Hello. Oh, what is that? Um, uh, six ish ish. I don't know. Like like uh like moving on the ground. Yes. Recognize what is that? Uh, some sort of animal. Yes, the town is going okay. But we can we can expand the number of people, but we can't expand the quality yet until we get some type of clothing. Okay, so now we're going to get, well, let's get two, two families working there for now, because we have a large storehouse with lots of hides. We want to turn to leather to get them into our market. We're growing, so we're hitting this pretty hard. Well... Let's see, we've got 15. That close. Let's see about... Come on, Lenny, come on. Okay, that'll be good. We can even add an extra house there. Big enough. Good to hear. So you can see clearly. Okay, well, yeah, we can go in somewhat. That's in the forest. Can't see the guy walking there. Well, there is our wooden boot. Path here. Our granary. Our ox. Stalls. We have two oxen stable space there, two oxen in here, one is being used right at the moment. Our large storehouse, our communal oven, we have nothing in it to cook yet. We now have the tannery operating here. They're, they are making leather from hides, that counts as clothing. In the woods, not 
we're going to permanently be in the woods, we'll eventually cut it down, is our well, admittedly sort of smallish manor house. We have no fortifications there yet. Oh yeah, the game looks amazing. There's our windmill. Now I will say, windmills like this definitely existed. Definitely existed in this part of the world. I do believe mostly it was water mills, you know, um, undershot or overshot, you know, water wheel on a river. That was mainly the thing. But you would have to, it, it's more more difficult both graphically to inter, interact it into the game and you'd have to, you know, there are there is a river on this map, but I don't think it does anything. So you'd have to do, have to have more streams, more rivers. You know, it's just a little harder to to put in the game, so they just do this as sort of a generic. Now, this the higher you sort of get this mill up, or this windmill here up, I mean, it is a mill, but a windmill up here, on a, on a high point, the more efficient. I think it's like at 80-some percent efficiency right now is what it would work at. So, it is... It is... Not critical, but it does help where where you place it. And so, yeah, back there we saw the farms. We see new growth here in this forest area, though we are going to be putting um, village there. So we have lots of that. So, yeah, this looks amazing. We have our wood cutters, which generates um, firewood. We're down to five months. Um, uh, yeah, let's let's get... Let's get one guy working there. So yeah, this is our community here. Don't know if we showed off the farms well enough, the fields, the farm houses. Now they call this farm house. This is not a farm house. These are farm buildings, meaning they don't house people. The the the, the term house has a housing function. So everyone in this game, well. Some people live in the manor house. They actually do live in the manor house. But everyone else lives um, in one of these types of places. Now, we can click here and see that they don't have any clothing supplies as of yet in that place. Hey, Sing, it's been a little while. How you doing? I'm doing well. Enjoying this new game. For once, I'm playing a new game and not like a five or ten year old game. So they're building a couple of new houses here. Good to hear. Good to hear. I like when people are doing well. Now, okay, so now we have clothing supplies in the stall. So what we're going to do here, I think we're going to come here first. And we are going to upgrade to level 2. Ah, there's somebody, Mike, over, hello, over on um, Rumble. How are you doing, Mike? Thank you, Arna, for being a bit of a cheerleader over on Rumble. It's helpful. Let's say there's 11 people viewing over there. That's nice. I hope there are real people. You haven't, wherever you may be, on YouTube, Rumble, Twitch, or even Twitter, you can, um, you know, subscribe or follow whatever the basic term is for the service. If you want to see more historical gaming, okay, let's speed this up a bit. I could play it slowly, but that, and enjoy it, but that takes, you know, a lot of time here for the the stream okay now well, this hasn't been finished yet okay 
Okay, we the big okay, we've got a lot of food coming. What we we got some people cutting firewood. Good. Oh, my day's fine. Oh good. I'm seeing I'm getting to hang out with you and everybody else here while playing a cool game. Okay, it's still just June, so we had only yield one wheat there, seven there that was planted a little earlier, seven over here. So yeah, the, the wheat is growing up in the fields. Gotta wait till August or September for a decent harvest. We click here on our small marketplace. We I made it small so that as we grow, I'm going to create some other market um, centers. You can hover over it and see that so far everyone is right now either eating berries or eggs. Most everyone has fuel and 80% have leather as clothing. Okay, now this is a big plot. Just sort of, but not quite big as two. But we can expand the living space for the use of only two wood instead of four to um, accommodate another family. So we're going to do that. Now this one, we're going to keep this one slightly higher priority. It gets completed before it sends off a little bit of labor to another. Okay, so now this is this is now completed up. Now it now it. It can function just fine here, and the people living here will be just happy, uh, even if it doesn't have tavern supply or uh, what would be a small stone church or more food stall or clothing supply. Now, if you go higher levels and you don't have some of the things, it does become a drawdown on approval. So this isn't terribly um, a problem at the moment, but it can become so. What we're going to do here is set up a Fletcher shop because we want more bows. Don't have to actually like produce arrows, but we do need a bow production going. See, well, I found out that major parts of the new Dutch submarine are being built right. Ah, cool. That's cool, Arno. Are you able to name villagers? Um, I don't know. They all, they're all named. Um, I don't think I'm able to name villagers. Let's see. Let me come here, people. Um, oh, yep, I could. Yep. We got Sam. Um... Let's 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 do this. Um, well, okay, yeah. Um, that's the H Sing gets gets a place here. Um, people here. Deets. I don't like Deets. It's going to become Eric. Eric. Since he asked and found out he's waiting for something. Uh, just doing the sort of head of households. Um, I think we were looking at Gunnard over there. Let's do Arno. You know, and I'll see what Mike is saying over here. Mike, doing well, checking out the new game, yeah. Okay, and let's see. We'll give Mike um, uh, people here, residents. Is that a Yorg? Okay, Mike. We now have Mike here. Um, who else is here that we should name? Is there somebody I'm forgetting? Oh, uh, well, um, what is that? It's Fixish or yeah. Okay, well, let's 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 give him a place too. I don't quite. People do these want to be interesting names and um, set up oat. Yeah, oat does not sound good. H I S. So even you've got 
Hey. Nice place to live here. In Gamer's little town. Is there anybody look back up? Oh, uh, Ragar. Let's let's get Ragar. Uh, hopefully he's still around. Let it be. This this game is set in um, Franconia in um, the 15th century, so the 1400s. Okay, and so Ragar now is here. Okay, so everybody who's been in chat, anybody else wants to speak up and get named into the do it? You can call villagers after Toy Jet. Well, Toy Jet ain't here. He doesn't get fun. Well, I didn't name uh, the the Lord, but I guess that is. Let's see. Now, now this is one thing you can do if you didn't know. Um, okay, let's see. Turn, and we can walk around. You can sort of. You can't really easily see the front of him. But if you wanted to walk around your your town as Lord, though it doesn't um, correspond to the picture here. I could have named this something else, but I didn't. Him. Just left it. Biggest election. Oh, yeah, your guys are having a big election there. My noble parents were living a few hundred km more to the east, yes. Franconia was backwards country. Well, it may fit for... Now, I don't know what was going on. Let me pause this for a minute to talk about um, in the 1400s in Franconia. There were still plagues breaking out in um, Europe. And by plagues, I mean primarily bubonic and pneumonic plagues. Right off the top of my head, I don't... And they, were, they were still breaking out into the Renaissance, I know. Um, I don't know how common of, of an incident it was. I do know during parts of the Middle Ages, it really ravished, and including parts of the Dark Ages, it really ravished big chunks of Europe in which whole areas became uninhabited because when we get, uh, I'm going to get to a sensitive topic here. I'm sorry, but it, it's important. And I, God, I'm not a doctor and I don't know all the details, but the bubonic and pneumonic plagues are basically a, um, what a viral infection that gets into you. Um, they're both the same infection, as far as I know. The bubonic plague is transmitted by fleas, primarily. And um, the rats would get it. The rats would live up in here, up in the thatch. And then they would die and fall down into, you because of the plague, fall down into here, into your house. I mean, this isn't exclusively how it happened, but this is a major way. Fall down into the house, and then the, the, the fleas would jump off the dead rats and onto you, and then bite you and transfer the plague. So it was sort of the rat carried, um, you know, long term and spread around. And then bites the humans. Humans may flee an area not knowing they're sick. Now you would um, develop a, a large black pustule um, on your body. If you popped it, you might live. It depends on how well fed and you know healthy you are. Now if you didn't pop it, you wouldn't. Um, you you very very likely wouldn't live. I think it's almost guaranteed you wouldn't live. So some of the pustules got popped. Now you just have one. It's not like you'd break out in lots of them. It would just be one big pustule. Some pustules got broken by accident. Uh, eventually, I think that's more like in the Renaissance, they figured out that you should be popping them. Um, a lot of people did not believe in doing things back then. Uh, so you had a you had a chance to live if you were healthy enough and the pustule got popped either by accident or on purpose. Pneumonic plague and the pneumonic part of it is breathe. If you if you coughed out if you got normally if you got the infection through your lungs, 
you started started coughing and um that would then cough on somebody else and they would get it in through their lungs and that is basically almost certainly you died you just died um it it had like a 90 plus percentile um uh death rate highly infectious whole villages like this would be gone in say 48 hours if it got spread around and everyone goes to pray in church to for you know whatever you know good health or whatever and then they all infect each infect each other and they just all die it's pretty bad now if you're i don't know how common it is everywhere in the western um world but there's uh a nursery rhyme called and it ring around the posies pocket or, or, i don't remember it pocket full of posies ashes ashes we all fall down that is not the wording entirely it's ring around the posies that's your pustule at choose at choose one of the things even for the the um bubonic the the flea transmitted was sneezing um and so at choose and we all fall down dead so we still have that nursery rhyme from the middle ages that most people have forgotten it's its origin and how impactful it was so you could readily see with this game and we start normally with just a few little settlers in an area that that would be what would be going back into an area after it's been decimated by the plague and if you don't have enough of a community yeah you got some wilderness survival dude who can survive on his own but really a, a family can't so the survivors would congregate in other towns and give up areas so again i don't know uh what okay everything did you vote for a presidential election not not yet that's coming in november um sing here in the united states so we don't vote yet but that's that's the very sensitive topic of the plague So we are, you know, okay. Um, we are transporting goods to create a Fletch, Fletcher shop. We have large stone house with currently planks, which we need. Yeah. And my understanding, it, it smelled, once you popped, that smelled very evilly, the black pus that would come out. And that was sort of, you know. I'm very happy to be alive in the, the this these ages. So, okay, so now we have a Fletcher shop. This Fletcher shop, um, we can look here. Uh, residing families, Fletchers, they're going to start making um, bows. So we want to do that. Now we also want to increase population. So we have a lumber here. Let's being very American and making all my roads sort of, well, maybe not all of them, but most of them sort of right angles and straight, instead of you medieval people, you Europeans who still, where did the cow wander 25 years ago? And Okay, we don't have enough in 810, so let's stop that. Okay, um, let's up. Let's Sort of using him to clear this area that we will be populating with more houses soon. There were massive starvations in 1315 that massively damaged Central Europe. There were massive plagues outbreak in 1348, 61, 71, and 82. Czechs quarantined borders and blocked the first two outbreaks that were milder. 
most of checks and poles were mostly preserved their economy and their society the west and italy went down hard yeah hey toy jet you're here now that you're here um let's see a lot of people here we're gonna make toy jet the fletcher you're going to be the bow maker there there you are there's toy jet he's carrying some planks back to his Stop to make boats. Yeah. That's toy jet. For all those who don't know, um, this is basically a passion project of one person. This is not a large team of people. Yes, I do know from some of his posts he's, you know, con he contracted some people to do bits and pieces of work for him, but it is mostly him. Look on our here and see food variety now. Okay, it's just eggs. No vegetables yet, berries, and no meat currently. I thought we had more meat coming. Um, oh, okay, hold on. We got a guy doing it. Nope. Okay, stop. We've we've hunted them them down. It is July. Okay, so 20, 16, 19, and in that little field 11. So we need to give them a little more time for growing. Have a lot of berries, good. And another family member showed up, good. I think we're gonna go down to just one work in the. I think we probably worked out. Well, yeah, we probably don't even need him. Doing that. What was our? Okay. Um. But two of them working that should happen pretty good. Let's make a road go right along there. And then let's build uh I guess I wanna build a hitching post right there. How does battle work? We'll, we'll be showing some battles soon. Um, did one earlier. Um, we got a bandit camp there in this area that's been claimed. Um, so we, we will be in time. Uh, we're right now building up more. I think Manor Lords is a misnomer because you are running a town. You should be a Burgermeister. Well, no, no, I, I'm disagreeing with that. At least so far. Um, now there's photos, and I've seen some some work done that does have something that does come to a town like um, area. But most manor houses had a village. This isn't a burger. This isn't big enough to be a burg. Um, a burg in, and, and I know English and Scottish history and, and society best. A burg is a licensed um, uh, town or city, uh, often licensed to have a um, a proper market, not not like a, a few stalls for for selling stuff but licensed by the king uh, of an area. And that's where you get like Edinburgh, Edinburgh, um, Jedburgh, Jedburgh um, in Scotland. Because those were licensed sort of trading towns. This is a village. Um, 
And the idea here, with th at least this current, is, is we're supposed to conquer all of these territories. So you, you can get this up to be a small town, but you're also being the Manor Lord in that you're, you're taking, dealing with um, more and more territories. So I, I hear what you're saying, folk, but there's a lot of, you know, field management. Um, oh, these guys never got dismantled. Oh, or, um, let me come over here. Oh, yeah, disbanded. It should have been. Okay, you're just, you should have been disbanded long ago. Um, you, though you just would have hanged out in the manor. So you guys all go home. So yeah, no, I I think I I I think this is is you know because all manors would have need to have your your local village of workers because yeah you have your retainers living in your in your manor but the rest of the people would live in their their homes and um, you'd have a local church and everything so. I hear you, but I, I disagree with this, at least so far in this game. Uh, ga games that are made by one person or by teams as a strong leader typically quite consistent. Yeah, this is, I think he's doing a great job. Okay, now that we have this, oh, let's get out of, uh, let's get out of the enemy selection here. We click here and we're going to order another ox for 20 silver. Um, try to form a new government, but that's not, oh yeah, and Arno's go government is going crazy there. Yeah. Kind of remember about how much work went into details of Patrician 3 games. That army loved their salaries they got for standing on the road. Yeah, well, they don't really, they, they're just, see, right now I have two units. One is Spear Militia, which are made up of, um, 10 men or 20 men from the town. Uh, as part of the starting or early conditions, you get given um, 20 spears and 20 shields. So that's all they have. And then once you establish your um, your manor house, you get five retainers um, in doing so. So you can expand this up, but click here, um, customization. So you got five. If you want to hire more, but this has to come from your treasury. So it costs 50 and it's a one-time fee, uh, but I have zero in my treasury. This is this is a sort of region wealth versus personal treasury. Uh, now you get here mostly through taxes, uh, but the more you tax, the more unhappy they are, and we wouldn't be getting very much money. So I'm just letting this at, hang out at zero. So we're having a small retinue of five well-armored, armed, men um again they they're just they get paid as being part of the retinue um and so i'm hoping that we can um now that we have a fletcher shop here let's see here um no nothing in storage there large storehouse yes we have three bows here so we are we are grinding for more bows we are um Trying to get, I think we can do so now. Let's see. I think we needed 10. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's do this. More plots, more people. Now it's getting a bit far away out here from the marketplace. We may build another one over here. Hello! Nick Wilson, how you doing? Do you have army in the, in the manor now? Well, yeah, I was just sort of explaining here. Um, what we have here are 20 militia soldiers in a in one unit and five retinue soldiers in, in another unit that's the manor. So that's what we currently have for our military forces. How are they being paid for weapons at the time the soldiers paid for their own swords? Yeah, well, okay. One, of course, you got to realize this is a game. Now, we can hire men-at-arms, and they will come... We can see the ones that we currently have here, and this is Albrecht 
this is Hans, this is Thomas, Lennart, and Herman. They, they don't have any upgrades. They're just whatever this basic sort of, I guess, um, this is like a halbert and a chamele and I guess a sword or something on them. We could upgrade them at times. And so when you hire them, um, they just cost 50, uh, you're hiring them for 50 silver. And they join you, and I guess their uh, ongoing pay is food and, and shelter, living in your manor house, as, as as the game considers it. So that's my understanding so far. And so I want to build up the population here. Now you can also hire mercenaries. These are the three mercenary bands that are currently available. For 45 silver per month, they'll arrive in these different areas. You can get a band of light uh, mercenary archers and heavy mercenary archers. Um, so if we wanted to mow them down for 60, we can get some light mercenary archers and some brigands. These brigands are crap. Um, and a light mercenary infantry. And they will slowly change through time. And so though for 110, we can get, what is that? Um, what is it? 30 per, or whatever it is, per unit. Um, we get three units of that. And that'll be 110 from the treasure. But we don't have any money for any of that. So we're going to, we're working on trying to generate some money, but we're also working on trying to generate population to, um, you know, fill up our, uh, the, looks like mercenaries is, is yeah, CK2. Just moving a bit faster here. So we want population. Population will eat into our, okay, fuel. So we are running a bit lowish on fuel. Um, well, you know, what we may try to do here is... Um, yeah, let's relocate. Let's come over here. And we're going to move this to highest priority. Yeah. So they'll relocate. Either they'll take logs from, from their torn down place, or some logs from here, and quickly build another one here. This way they'll depopulate this forest instead of me just having to cut it down wastefully. This forest is slowly sort of, well, I don't know if it's growing back or just bushes, but um, I'm not using a forester site because I'm sort of depopulating here. And we're going to move these eventually. We come over here and go, this is 43% growth. We'd have 12 yield, 26, and we're right now at 35% growth. And 39% growth at 25 yield. So we're letting that grow. We're doing good. we got 19 months over a year's food. And... Does it compare to Total War? Yeah, um... Not really played Total War Medieval. I played um, Total War Rome 2. Um, this is much more of a personal... This is much more a simulation of, hey, you're you're the manor lord of this, this area here. And right now it's one village. And yes, as we're talking, you can... You can upgrade it to, um, oh, what is it, uh, large village or, or something like that. And it's, and it goes, I think there's plans to make it up to like a burg, um, you know, or a small city. But this is the, this is the one map that's currently available. I presume, I hope they make it moddable so people can do all kinds of stuff. And so this is, like I say, the one map. But realize that each time you start a new game, the um, the resources location and when you see a crown here, it means it's a it's a rich deposit of whether it's um, like stone or of uh, berries. 
you have a rich deposit of berries here. Um, it locations get shuffled as well as, and again, we can see over here, um, say fertility here. And oh no, yeah, I zoomed out a little too far. And so you can see different areas with different fertility levels in the different um, barley, rye. And so that all matters to your, your area. And so that's changing each play session. So, you know, I presume, like I say, I don't know, but presume that it's, it's going to get more variances as time goes on. Okay, so we got this woodcutter's lodge there. And let's make sure we have some people there cutting some wood so that we'll get enough wood to come through. Okay, here uh, we have a hunting camp. Yeah, that's empty. Good. Here um, we're down to 27. So let's go to just one person there. Yeah, it's there's a lot of like settlers element to this. I have not played Spellforce, Ragar. I have played the old Settler and Settler Two or whatever games way back in the day. Um, this is not a war game. I mean, we I earlier in the stream, if somebody wants to go back, they can look there. Um, one battle already, and we will be playing more battles as time comes. But. Um, this is, this is not a war game with some resources attached to it. This is a settlement game with combat as part of it. So if you're looking for... You know, I will say this. Um, Field, of, uh, Field of Glory uh, Midi, um, Kingdoms, that's what it's called. Field of Glory Kingdoms is coming. Uh, and I think fairly soon to um they may have even announced over on i guess it's a i, I get confused but i think it's a, a matrix game or slytherine same company functionally um and that is a and i think i think they've gone to seasonal i mean they you know they um field of glory uh the the classical era one is is year per year turn i don't like that i think the turns to that game should be monthly it just armies move too slow and things so the turns are just too long oh well there's this x number turn. yeah i don't care but i don't want to i don't want to take a year to move my troops from province to province that's just that's just too slow um but that's going to be a game that has, uh, you know, it's going to be more like this type of game. Not you're not designing villages at all, as far as I know. I haven't really looked into it at all. But you're 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 looking at, um, you know, a top level game that, yeah, you may have a um, a mine in an area. They're look, looking at their their classical era game, and you may have a weaving, um, you know industry in another area and that type of thing and castles and different you know fortification levels in different provinces and all of that but it's this type that's then hooked into very great field of glory 2 and it will be field of glory 2 medieval really great game it's a turn based it's a tabletop simulation but does really well for combat so if you're looking for a combat game that has you know reasons for for fighting is, you know, as to what provinces you control or whatnot, that's probably more the game for you. If you're looking at a, you know, a, if you want to call this a simulation or not, I don't know, but a something of a simulation of, um, you know, managing running a medieval village or villages, then this is going to be a better thing for you. So just keep keep that in mind. And I will acknowledge that I'm a paid shill for Slytherin slash Matrix. I know some of you guys know that, but if you don't, um, do know that in what I say about their games. Not all they did was giving me an early access copy to this game. Otherwise, I'm not any sort of paid shill for 
Manor Lords. Some companies do pay me. Now, they just pay me when I stream on their channel, but, you know, still it's that. Okay, thanks, Nick, for showing up. Let's, they're clearing this area out here, then build some fortifications. Now, how is our... Okay, we've got ten bows so far. We've got these guys coming here. They're a bit far away from from the, from, we made, uh, from the market, but we'll see how badly... And I made the market smaller than I normally do because I'm going to see about making more... more um, units here, more, more market areas to cover greater areas. We all know what that means. Okay, so when this next last building gets completed, we'll have living space for 21, and we'll have 16 families here. 21 families versus 16 families, so... And like we knew new mercenary company, so if we wanted to see sixty, okay, the big one of the big one, or, or look, they're all redone. So we could get for fifteen, we can get some local thugs. Um, I guess like sixteen of them or something. Uh, we can get the green caps here, which are uh, for ninety, a couple of light mercenaries and some archers, brigands, and light archers for sixty. So we could get about. Okay, Singh, thanks for showing up as well. Glad to hear you're doing well out there in India. So what we'll do now is, while we can, we're going to create a new unit that's just going to be archers. And it looks like it'll be 13 because it'll distribute the 13 bows we currently have. Uh, we, we had 20 before here. Um, maybe we just have some extra gear or something that, that balance out. I don't know. We'll see. Normally, I wouldn't maybe expand the, the the housing so much in the village. I would be looking more for um, upgrading things. Because once we get, well, once we get one more here, we will be able to upgrade to small village. Which will get us another um, development, specialization, whatever you want to call it. Now we're into August, we can see we are 50% growth, V1, we made 36%, so we're, we'll let them grow a little bit more. Okay, we've settlement level has been increased, so let's continue here. Um, we have plowing. We could do fertilization, which will help 
somewhat on our um, fertility of our land. Uh, we could do beekeeping. What we are going to do, though, is sheep breeding. We're going to get sheep breeding. So, to make this somewhat worthwhile, let's let's first come here and look at emmer fertility. Okay, so we're going to find some areas that aren't terribly fertile, and we're going to, or hell, yeah. Um, well, you can see here that the fertility is going down in some areas here on these fields. Um, but that will be for in a bit. So we're going to, let's see, yeah, here. We're going to create a pasture area, something sort of like that. That's just a creation thing. And we'll want to put a sheep farm. Um, yeah, that, there we go, that'll work. Good. You got some people, they'll go and get that going. The other thing we want to do, too, is over here, um, we want to do a livestock trading post. Okay, we're fortunately running out, because I did intend to run out of resources for our logging camp up here. But we are going to move it. I saw something of a steep hill, but I guess that's okay here. Now they got a ways to drag lumber and such, but we're going to get more development going over in that area. Why do I have to carry this alone? Okay, now we're going to populate, get somebody working here, and we're going to um, set this to import. No, we can't afford ten. Um, let's let's get six. Six times. Uh, yeah. Let's get four. Start with four. Fields need a bit of a drink. So could I. Yes, we can do that. Okay, uh, that will be need to be done at a smaller. We'll just start over here. A lot of trees we're going to clear out here, but um, here we are. Still lots of bushes here. A fancy red cape. Oop, got walked through. I must be a ghost. Yeah, they, they've... Some of the walls people walk through a lot and things. It's not... It's not... It's not done yet. It's still early access. That was an assassin that walked through me. Oh, well, okay. But I'm the ghost. He walked through me. Maybe he's a ghost and... Not me. I don't know. Okay, so here... So we can see the level of detail. Okay, we got firewood, it looks... Oh, no, that's leather right there. Um, those are eggs, I think, in the stall, maybe? Or I don't know. Um, come one, more. Come all. Feast your eyes. So that's firewood in the stall there. That's more firewood there. You'll not find this doesn't else. really seem to be a buying and selling... 
Yeah, I think those are supposed to be eggs. Or maybe berries. Those may be berries. Those are probably berries. I don't know. You have to have another problem with... Um... Hey, Yeti Gold, how you doing? Okay. Uh, no, we. I'm not going to be chatting on Discord right now. Okay, so there's a, one oxen at a hitching post. Let's see if we can walk into the church. Take a look around. Can we walk through the wall? Nope. This wall is not walk throughable. At least not with this. He's sort of kind of walking up the stairs. Not very far, though. Okay. Can't quite manage the stairs. Can he go through the wall? Nope. Okay, he's not going through the wall. Another sort of ghost encounter here. Okay, so this is a house with a chicken coop. You know, uh, over a couple of plots is a house with vegetable garden. I think Yeti's a, Yeti is a bot. Creative one in that it made four different posts. The first one I actually sort of thought was... First two I sort of thought were, like, legit. Um, you'll notice a lot of times they'll put, put goods... Okay, so those are probably... Berries there. This group, but they were real. Okay. Yeah, I checked. It was a bot. Okay. Here's here's the stall for the other two oxen that are currently being you know busy. Let's walk out to the forest or such. When AI chat will improve. Yeah. Hey, I might end up having thousands of viewers, and they all be bots, and I'd never know it. Maybe bots will become more real than real people. Hey, just think. We could all leave Twitter and YouTube, and it could just be bots watching Twitter and YouTube and whatnot, and them posting videos and watching their own videos back, and we could all just take a vacation from this, and they do this. Okay, so this is a hunter's camp. Nobody is currently working here now, I know. But um, just that's there up there in the forest is where the animals hang out. The AI bots that are trying to influence them. Yeah. I can imagine there are definitely serious problems with success. And they sometimes may be worse than problems of failure. You know, failure, you just got to go get a real job and your life goes on. Where if you have success, not so much maybe bots, but success and people then, you know, stalk you and other things, that could be worse than just having to quit doing this gig and go get a job okay so this is our large storehouse here i think we can walk into this one i'm not a bot bots can't love crags as much as me yes absolutely okay so this now the door is closed here i've often seen it open and so we can come in here and see the goods you can see the carts i don't know why the door is closed now it was open in, in the earlier build of the game the guy with the backpack is, I think, some sort of traveling merchant type guy. Not one of the workers. Here is the oven for once we... And we're probably going to need to start harvesting fields soon. Once we start getting flour, we're coming up on our... Um, roger, roger. I mean... Coming up on our through the trees there, our flower mill. I know it's a windmill, but it grinds flower. Wrist mill. There. And this is our farmhouse. Again, it is not a house. It is farm buildings, yes. A uh, farm complex, a farm, you know. So we would, you know, store up. 
often would be hung uh, for various reasons. Some to keep pests out, some just to keep it off the ground, let it dry out, things like wheat and other things to, to store it protectedly. R2-T2, yeah. Let's see, walk in here. Okay, he doesn't duck, but walks through the thatch. And he's into now a black space that hopefully I can get out of. Maybe we just, this walls are in material here. Yep. Okay. Let's walk over to our manor house and then we will. Yeah, this is all in material here. Let's head over to where he'll live. I didn't build a road over here to it. I didn't feel the need at the moment. So just cruise through the bushes here. To the small manor house. I have seen some screenshots of stuff much more developed into like a actual sort of medieval city and bigger castle stuff. So I think that will be coming in later versions of the game. Now I don't know whether it'll be DLC time Okay, we can't go in for some reason, though they can. Okay. Or whether it'll just be part of the standard game once it upgrades. Alright, so there's Arno's walk through the town. Right, now let's take a look at our fields. Okay, so that will... This yield, I think, is incorrect at 140. Um, I very much think so. And that is definitely incorrect at that. I don't know what it's doing when it does this. Um... We'll let this go a little bit longer. We'll let it, well, it's in September. We'll let it go to like October and then we'll see about harvesting. So, yeah. Okay, so we have 18 families living here now. Um, our military is 18 and 18 strong. With five of there. Okay, so. Um, we have two sheep here, supposedly. Okay, I think we're, we're trying to buy four, if I'm not mistaken. I don't see any sheep. I have noticed sometimes it's like said that there's four and there's just two or whatever, but I think there are four. Sometimes I've also noticed some sheep follow a particular person around a lot. The graphics look stunning. These are all seasonal. The graphics. Oh, this is policies available. Did they increase the number of policies? No, just these two, I don't think. Maybe some good reasons for them, but a little faster than walking behind the manor lord. Okay, well. What do we do want to do from here? Um I wanna grow the Town population here. Waiting for harvest. Hmm. Okay, we need more wood. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do wood cutters. Here is logging. Oh, we didn't get put anybody in the logging camp. Okay. Get logging, guys. Get logging. Um, and you take out, you look after the sheep, we have somebody here buying, and we have pasture space in the trading post itself, but we want them out on the field out there.
eggs and berries currently. I was hoping we'd also have some vegetables yet, but not yet. This takes a while. And we'll get bread coming soon once we see about harvesting. When I go up here to sort of move around, it, it shows what's happened recently. Sometimes it's annoying. Now, when you when you make somebody a, a Fletcher, they stop becoming part of this pool other than working for their own um, job here. Uh, large storehouse, okay. Our saw pit over here, we're also going to move. Because it's very far away from our, um, resource of logs. So we'll put it there. And this I noticed today for the first time when we have it selected here. When it's first starting to build, it has that funky sort of graphics kind of thingy. Um, it'll go away in a bit. Can you show hunting? Well, um, right now we're not, well, we could do some. Um, I don't know how well it shows. But we can put somebody here on it. Eventually, somebody will show up here. I don't know if they actually have the animation of them going and shooting a bow and, and killing a deer and bringing it back, or whether it's just simply they sort of hang out here and process it. I've definitely seen um, a carcass hung up from one of these two um, rocks or whatever um, positions here, and them sort of dressing the meat and skinning it and doing that. So I've definitely seen that. Or no, I don't know that they do anything more than that, but open saw pit. And we're going to put somebody working on the saw pit too. Okay, yeah. So we we've already had some killed. I don't. Yeah, I don't know that we're actually seeing the hunting going down, but we can see him dressed in the carcass. Two people working here? No, just one family. Okay. And you can see the carcass slowly disappearing as he dresses it there. Okay, well, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Let's, let's go. Let's see if we can follow him here. Into the woods. Okay, he he crouches down. Sneaking up on the deer. I see some deer up there. He gets an arrow. And he shoots and he kills the deer. Other deer is going. Hey, dude, how you doing? Yeah. Um, Bring this here. Move yep. that there. And on, drags it. Okay. On. Okay. So that's that's them. Right. Now. We are done with 
berries out there, so we're going to stop work there. Yeah, it's it's pretty detailed. I'm a bit surprised. Okay, um, we don't need any more. Well, okay, do we have we have the four? So we don't need any more working at livestock trading. Uh, logging camp, we're going to stop work here. We got 18 logs. Saw pit, we're going to stop working here. Um, firewood, we're going to reduce down to one. And so we're going to come over here and well, get to eight. And since this was one of our fields that is heavily growth, we're going to... Yeah, now this yield, I believe, 23. Um, 68, yeah, I can believe that. Not that hundreds and something. So we're going to here and we're going to um, force, force early harvest here so it starts harvesting. And we're going to also put it up to higher. And we will also um, add livestock. To see. They'll help with um, transporting the bundles back to the farm, farm buildings. And they, they talk in the developer's talks that everything here is supposed to happen by a human doing something. You know, meaning somebody goes, gets an ox and take, you know, yes, you will. You will definitely see bad graphics going on. I'll just explain like at the you'll 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 sometimes see the human going in and grabbing the um, ox here. And it already has a log attached to it and taking it to the hunting camp and whatnot. You will see that. But the idea is meant to be for this game is like, oh, hey, we need to drag us this log around. Well, let's go. And there's and they don't currently have one working at working with the logging camp. They'll the the person will wander over to the small stable, get the if there's a free oxen, grab the oxen, bring the oxen all the way back here, go get the log from wherever they cut it down, drag it to here, and uh, or if they need to get a you know another log to build a house out here, they'll go over to the to the small stable get an ox and the oxen and the guy will wander over here get the log wander it back to wherever it's going to be and then do this again and again and again so it's all meant to flow like that in sort of real time yes we can come in here and speed up real time but it's not meant to like you know just plunk down now you sort of just plunk down a field you know that, but that's more of a designation than you know it actually becomes like, you know, anything planted or productive on it. And we can see right now down here, storage on the field is six. Um, storage in the pantry here is going to be something, I think, soon, because we see people wandering in. Yep, there we go. Three so far. And they'll use carts sometimes. Yeah, there's one of the sheep. It falls for some reason. I don't know if it's a bug or an intended. Some of the sheep will latch on to a particular person and just follow them around. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to stop this, let it be fallow. So they'll start plowing it up, and I don't want to do that. Okay, um, let's see which 70%, 65. Okay, we will do we will force early harvest here. So I want to get this going while the weather is good. And we can look here now that this is fallow, 17%, 9%, 2%. So it isn't really worth farming that field next year. See them stacking up wheat. They just look like they're stacking it down in this corner for some reason. Don't know why, but uh, 
Not picking it up, taking it back to farmhouse. The ox will pick up a bunch of it, more than just one or two bushels. Okay, now here I want to. Don't know why it doesn't let me go fallow right away. And here we're gonna force there. And we're gonna do no force part. Okay, now it now it'll let me because I want to go fallow. At least for now, they're looking pretty poor. Crop rotation. Now, if the wheat is left out on the fields too long and it's raining or snowing, it'll get damaged and it'll disappear. You can see um, already stocks damaged by field weather, so this isn't good, but. Hopefully they will hurry and get this stuff done. Get the won't lose too much. You can see they got 76 so far made it in. They've got 27. Don't know how much it 31, 33. The oxen's hauling some back. He's doing like 20 or something, it looked like. Okay, now, now, let me yet. Uh, you know, you saved it. Okay, um, first off, we're gonna reduce this down to four people or four families. Oh, no, no, no. Four families. Let's get that one. Come on, let me, let me, let me stay go fallow. The villagers keep a share of the wheat. Okay, well, so far this game is very communistical in its, in its workings. Um, this is not how I understand, um, the feudal system to work. Now, feudal systems. Not before we get. Feudal systems varied in different parts of the medieval world, and sometimes we call things feudal just because it's hierarchical and it's, um, you know, similar without actually being feudal. Hey, Beam Slam, how you doing? And so. My understanding would be is, let's say, all of these villagers um, were part of this village. And let's just say for the moment, there's these three fields. This field, I mean, this is, I'm just sort of giving what I understand a typical sort of British or Western European feudal system works. This field here might belong to the manor lord himself. Okay, so all of the workers that would be, you know, the peasants that work the land would have to tend this field, you know, plow it, plant it, harvest it, and all of the um, proceeds goes to the manor lord. The other two fields would be split up by everybody here. And so... One strip, one one house guy might have one strip here and one sort of strip here. Because this one, because like we could see different, um, you know, percentages of um, productivity or whatever. So that, and now in reality, it would be bigger and there'd be more strips in different locations. So that you'd have, you know, some good, some good land, some okay land, some poor land, and you would do that. And then with that, 
you would get to keep, and I don't know the percentages offhand, but let's just go with, you would get to, say, keep two-thirds of the productivity from your land and give one-third up to um, the manor lord as well. So as well as working on his land, you give a percentage of your 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 productivity to the manor lord. So that's how it would work historically. Here, this is just all communal. The problem in reality is, if it's all communal, oh, just returned from a birthday. Was it your birthday party or somebody else's? If it is yours, happy birthday. Um, is the problem with doing it communal is, is nobody works harder for extra um, benefit. Because they, if they work harder, they don't get anything more than if they work just enough, a responsibility enough. You know, a friend of yours? Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, this, and so here, this is the manor lord over here. This is his treasury. Currently, there's zero. This is regional wealth. So, um, well... Right now, uh, a level two house here will earn one silver per month. If we sell things, I haven't built a trading post to sell stuff yet. I've just built this one to buy some livestock. Um, if we sell things there, we get regional wealth. Now, I can tax this regional wealth. Now, it's not that much. And so I'm, and the more you tax, the more approval rate goes down. And you tax it in 10% increments currently. So I can do 10%, 20%, 30%. I don't know how high. I mean, maybe up to 100%. That would really piss people off. So, so yeah, so they sort of are getting to keep their own things. There is no, there is a market here. But this market doesn't really function on money. It's more just availability of the goods as we can hover over them. And, you know, sort of proximity to the market, um, clothing, because you can see, like, these guys aren't getting fuel way out there. That's red, and that's a bit too far away. And this is, I'm thinking about building other markets around here. So this is more of a, not so much of a market as a distribution point that household members will show up and grab some firewood or grab some eggs. There doesn't seem to be... Um, not getting something because of lack of money. So it, it's, it is sort of communist or communistical or whatever, um, you know, community based. So, um, we're going to go, um, we're going to reduce that down to zero. Now they're all going away. Now what I want... I want to turn this into a um, fallow field. Don't know why it isn't. And it well now I'm gonna I'm gonna bring two pe two families back because right now it's wheat and it needs to be winnowed, meaning getting rid of the chaff from the wheat. So, uh, but I don't want any. Um, I it's it's too late in the the year to do. Um, uh, uh, to do, you know, to grow another season. So I don't know why it wants to. It allowed me to let those go fallow. So I don't know. I, I still don't know some of this. Okay, so we got eight people here. So um, let's come here maybe and... Well, first let's do this. Ah, uh, too much. Okay, yeah, let's... Okay, that will be a dyer's workshop. Those, they'll take berries and turn them into dyes. Okay, we're going to reduce that down to zero. Come on, sometimes it will let me... I don't know. They're not okay. Well, let's prior. Oh, let's say highest prior. Let's go with lowest priority. Oh, 
Come on, don't waste your time here. Nothing stored there anymore. We got. We I need taken care of. Oh. Winter is approaching, yes, I know. And why are you freaking plowing a field that is of no use? Okay, well, um. Let's continue with the logging camp. You continue there. We have six months of fuel, lots of food. Um, yeah, I'm going to. Um, well, we need more planks. Okay, now what you can do here is it's the Fletcher shop. He's taking planks and turning them into bows. We don't want that to happen anymore. Now he'll stay a Fletcher. He won't do anything else. He'll just hang out because I put pause on this. So now with our saw pit here, we're going to tell them to get to making more planks. Because we want to use planks for other things. But stop this. Stop this. Let's get rid of these families here for the moment. Almost happened the past week in Copenhagen for you. Yeah, I heard about that. Do we think it, you know, I, mishaps happen, but it, was it a mishap or was it something else? I don't know. I think governments are a little too quick to jump on. Nope, just a mishap. Just an accident. Oh, they don't know the cause yet. Okay, well, I know that some of the sometimes I see here them jumping to accident very quickly before they've done any real investigation. But now we're going to have them take some of our grain, or I mean, not grain, but some of our um, berries and turn them into dyes. Come on, why, why? Oh, this is heavier than it looks. Well, they do have a little bit of grain, so we're gonna. Oh, they instantly turned that into flour. Okay. one family back in here to winnow. Now again, let's see if we can get trading post Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I would rebuild it. I, I don't like that they've changed um, the Notre Dame the way they've done it. I mean, it's not up to me. I'm not French, but I would have rebuilt it as close to the original as possible. You know, uh, that's what I would I would do. Um, unless it, well, good, at least some of it remains. Um, 
Yeah, unless unless it's really needed for a modern function, I would just. To me, history is so important. So. Okay, so now what? Here, here we go. So now we have these guys here making dies. So we're going to start. We're going to put. We're going to add a person here, and we're going to come over to here, and we're going to tell them to export dies and. Well, let's just keep, let's keep eight for now, just so our own use. The rest we will, anything over eight, we will sell. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't know how much technical improvements you should make. I don't know. I'm not saying you shouldn't, you know, run wires or, or something in, in places. Or more modern electrical lighting and what lot whatnot. You know, I'm not saying you shouldn't touch it at all. I'm, I just making glass roofs or or other sorts of things just don't meet my approval for something that didn't have them originally. Well, yeah, I hope they do have all of that, but who knows? Maybe it was stored inside there and burnt down, you know. But yeah, I hope they have all the technical and other specifications. Okay, so military, we got 20 and 20 right now. 20 bowmen, 20 spearmen, and 5 sort of warriors. But I don't really think that's enough to take. I, not being, oh, there's a, okay, this will actually help us out. Okay, we'll, we'll march over here and deal with these bandit camps. There was a bandit camp over there, but that's in enemy territory, and I don't want to have a big fight just yet with him. Uh, okay, we've got 20 families out of 21 possible living spaces. We can see here, food is not doing great spread out, fuel, but I did notice we are getting some vegetables now, as well as berries. Now, for un the one family here isn't, isn't, I, I need this winnowed. Oh, we can also currently, let's reduce down the, the livestock to the farmhouse. Uh -huh. This is not connected to the main road. Traveling merchant, what? Right. Okay, well, destroy this. Demolish that, yeah. Okay, we have the supplies. We can reuse that, fortunately. Um, hopefully that's the main part of the main road there. I don't know. I mean, it's... Further we get away from the storehouse, not so good, but... Oh. Rushing priority high. We have told that this priority, that field is lowest. Yeah, well, the game does need work. We know that. So I don't know whether it's working as designed or whether it just needs work. We have that. 
Okay, we have one sheep that's wandering around behind somebody. I don't know what that, how that affects that sheep in this. Okay, we have three sheep wandering around this field here. Um, over time, because we have growing sheep, they we will breed them. Okay, now we're going to come back here and make sure that we have trade. Yes, okay, so we have trade. Hopefully this has access to the main merchant's road here. And so they will get dyes and sell them. I die. Okay, it's November. Sort of the slow time of the year for a lot of stuff. So what we're going to do is, see those bandits? We're going to go clear them out. Right, so clearing out the bandits. What we want to do is rally our forces here. Let's, we can't do it in a field. We need to sort of do it out in the open. And... Let's rally these guys and our art crews over here. Okay, we want to have these guys. No, no not the manor. Okay, let's. Okay, we don't want them to run. We don't want them to run. This is not an emergency. No, 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 no. There we go. Turn off the run to position. Off the run to position, yeah. Okay, well, you just reason you're not. Well, they're going to go to their position. Yes. Their heads, gamer, yeah, for Emma Ruth. Yeah, we're going to go deal with the bandits. We can speed this up a little bit. Oh, land's being claimed. Where wall? I hope it's not where we're going. Um, what? What is... Well, guys, we're going to... Okay, I'm going to make a save here because I don't know how this is going to turn out. Land is being claimed. War. Let's go. Let's see, let's see how we go with this here. We're going to... I was hoping to get in there and get the bandits before the land is claimed. We'll, we'll see. Okay. You're not supposed to be running anywhere. Head up to the border here. Now maybe going you're going to war. Got the sheep guy. When the guy was following the sheep, following him is. Not following him anymore. I wasn't going to go claim this. I was just going to go to take out the bandits over here.
Okay, they're at 52%, not 53% readiness. Okay, let's let's do this thing. Enemies declared. Right. Enemy unit has been spotted. Where? Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see. They're way over there. Okay. Well. Uh huh. Looks like there's a lot of them. This is probably really stupid. We'll see about this. Here. We will see how this goes. When you click on this archer unit, you can see the range by this circle. Well, you can see it maybe a little better here. And you hover over these guys here. So I guess, yeah, you come up here, yeah, hover over them. You can see there. That's the range of their, their battles. Battle sheep. Are any of us in there? Oh, well, let's see. Who, who, do, we, who do we have here? Um, I think you guys are. I don't know if we can click on, because it's not giving me the inspect individually. Was that Toy Jet with that yellow sort of hood thing? Or was that Toy Jet over here? I don't know. We're status winning. We have we've used up one day, so let's as they march across this you know, countryside here. Lots of them. Lots and lots of them. Oh, what's what's? Oh, no. Okay, just Now we're status losing. Yeah, they're at a hundred. They're at ninety-two. These guys are at eighty-six. Don't know if the snow is causing problems. I don't. I don't know if the weather affects like the morale or not. This terrain, okay, let's see. Yeah, we're a bit on a high high spot. Um, let's see, we're going to be facing a lot, so let's expand this out a bit. All expendable farmers. Well, farmers aren't that expendable, quite honestly. I wish I could. I wish I could get individual designations for. Battle oh. for Walt. I thought that this was Walt Brand here. Um. Uh, all brand. That's where we, we're at. How are we losing? You're over in some other place, dude.
Hmm. Let me just go back to the save because this isn't. Isn't quite working out. You take on the bandits. That's what I wanted to do. Go to regular speed. Mark. Where are the bandit dudes? Maybe they're not there. Okay, well we pillaged those. Let's um let's give it to the nearest town. So they gain the town gained 166 wealth and nine bushels of berries. Okay, well let's see. Can we be what what are we facing out over here? Okay. Brigands, archers, um light mercenary infantry, light mercenary infantry. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna pretend I'm some brilliant armchair general, um, and we're gonna come over to here. Oh, we have a bot over on Twitch, Arno. If you wanna go kill it, wish it. Okay, winning and losing might just be the number of soldiers. I, I would have figured it would have been the soldiers in the province that you were disputing over. Thank you, Arno. A little bit fatigue, a little bit of cohesion loss, that's fine. Actually, we're going to come over to here. Battle begins. Okay, well. Um, no, no, no. I want just you. You just you here like this, you here like that, you here like this. Well, I was planning on trying to archer because some of the archers, I don't know. What? They got more archers than I do, so that isn't very good. Um, grab the archers and move them out front. Yeah, we may be going back to the save because this isn't going to work out well, I don't think. They've divided their force. So. Oh, 
of them way back there. Uh, well, what are they doing? They're staying out of my range. Presumably out of their range. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I don't think there's an ammunition situation here. Oh, we've lost a guy. And they're moving up their other forces. Okay. You guys... Oh, this ain't gonna go well. They slowed up this force. They didn't divide up enough. Okay, yeah, well... We can watch this go out, and then we'll we'll go back to the go back to the save. Yeah, these guys are almost all dead. And they're charging. For the watch, I'm going to speed it up a bit. Being outnumbered, they're doing okay. Oh, I read the new fled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that didn't work out. We're going to go back to the load game, the save game. Okay, so we're not going to go to war over this. We lost. Okay, so what we're going to do here, though, is, okay, um, we're not, oh, well, maybe that, let's, let's, okay, retinue, uh, just, yeah, the retinue, you head out that way. You guys disband, you guys disband. So you guys go home and do things. You guys march out over here. Basically, I want to go get whatever gold we can over here. Or silver, I should say. Yeah, the, yeah, it was pretty awesome. No, it, it isn't terrible by any means, the combat. Um, I don't know how well it's organized, or you know, how well it actually plays out <sighs> game-wise, but it, it's, it's pretty good. Okay, so, yes, everyone get back to your civic duties. You go, March, pick up this. Bandit camp looks to be empty, I guess. So, we'll just go raid that and get there. There, yes. Okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna... Raiders near. Where are the raiders? Okay, it's these guys here. Yeah. Another army was sighted. Another, yeah, okay. That's fine. We're not we're not going to war with them. We're we're gonna go get the raiders. Somebody tried to build something here. I don't know. Oh it's here. There's these guys are here. Oh wait a minute. These guys are here. Okay, um Ah, well. Well, 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 well. Um, well, let's... 
Okay, let's go back to the safe because um, so once we disband them, we can't. It doesn't appear we can call them back quickly enough. So let's. Which does make a little bit of sense. All of you guys will find something over here. Let's let's head this way. See what we can find out here. New message. And you can see this is somewhat of a dynamic situation here. Not, it's not always the same, which is good. I'm not going to dispute the claim, but I am going to walk into their territory. We'll walk in the territory that is being claimed and see what see what happens here. This time it's populated, so Are these the raiders? Okay, we have these guys coming for us here. Let's Advance. not really worried about them. Not with my bowmen here. If we can get up and get a little bit organized prior to contact. Slow this down. Slow this down. Let's go to normal speed here. Let's get in here. You guys, attack. you guys, attack. don't let them into our archers. There's not too many of them. Okay, well, these are these are the raiders, I guess, over here. Let's let's march over to this in a in a group. Oh, well, they're going away. I don't know where they're going now. Maybe there's some other raiders out here that I don't know about. We'll get this before this land is claimed. Okay, new message. We're going to send this. Treasury would be nice, but we're going to send this back. Okay, guys. Head back to our own territory. I don't know where the attack is, unless they're coming for... I don't know. I'm marching back. I... I 
Well, looks like they're going back to the edge of the map, so. They've got dominance here. We're Oh, well, there's another. Keep moving. Now, I don't see him playing this scenario... Because this is an off-map Baron who starts with two two territories here, and he's constantly claiming other territories. And he has, and this is a weaker force than what was there before, but 36, 36 and 36, you know, that's going to beat my little force. So obviously I really can't. Um really can't see stopping them claiming the territories right now. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you back here and we're going we're to raid that. You guys, we're going to... We're going to take the chance here. This band, you guys all. So you guys all go home. So we raided the, the bandit camp. Every one of you guys survived. Let's see here. Um... It's, oh, there's six-ish. Um, you all survived. Sam, that was just a made-up one. Mike survived. Uh, Eric survived. Thing survived. Yes, you you all survived. It, Cause I know that it wasn't, but you were in the battles there. Um, who over here? Heinz. Ragnar was in the battle. Kuntz. Didn't see Toy Jet so far. If he was in the battle, or did he skip out? That's the thing. Oh, I haven't seen Toy Jet. Oh, there's Toy Jet right there at the front. I went with the yellow hood there. Yeah, okay. Looks like all you guys made it into the battle and made it home alive. We're going to go raid this camp again before whatever to get whatever money or other goods out of that there yeah they're heading back home for some whatever So it's winter. We have plenty, 11 months of food, 6 months of fuel, which is good. Um, we, uh, okay, well, I'm going to go follow with this. Finally, I can, I don't know again what, what the conditions are. We're turning some of the wheat into, um, you know, winnowing the wheat there. We have a full town. We're going to increase the granary size. That way we can store up more berries and whatnot. Raid this bandit camp. New message. Well, this time we're going to put it into the treasury because we need we could use that to hire some mercenaries maybe in the future now come back here any other bandit camps that we can spot not yet Now, we have this pasture over here with just six. So we're going to livestock trading posts go up. We're going to trade and we're going to import. I mean, four maybe, but we're going to import up to six now. 
Is it supposed to grow over time? But I do think it is based on the number of livestock you have. So now that we're back in our own territory, we're going to disband them and they get to go back to the manor house and hang out and drink some beer and whatnot. Wait a minute, we don't have any beer yet. Well, they can eat some bread. So they're turning out, they're turning the wheat into the grain. Let's get them. Turning the grain into flour. some flour there we got some grain and lots of berries we've got 25 why don't we get more over here let's let's increase thirty four I don't know that I want to spend thirty four oh there we go we got some next stop the saw pit from doing thins. Um, let's come back over here and turn the Fletcher shop back to working. Maybe we can get some more. Well, I've got 21 now, so get some more archers as our population. One, one per house, it looks like. Okay. Now we have max spears and shields of 20 so that's maxing that out and so one per household there for archers all right well that's good information to have uh, we have a well here that's good um miss the well by a little bit there we go this is heavier than it looks Go for it, get to building. We could use the population. We've got three oxen to do all the various heavy work, like moving logs around, or plowing or whatever but okay okay well notice we got 70 things of wheat so what we're going to do is we're going to reduce that to zero we're going to reduce that to one let them finish hopefully get that done and then we're going to come over here and turn on the communal oven we get more food Okay. 
clothing. They're not getting any clothing way out here. Sort of kind of knew I built a little too far out, but we'll see about maybe another market over there. Right now we're at six out in the field. Good. Now, okay, we need to get some more level twos done. But first, let's get all of these lots made. We want population. Is this close enough? Okay, this is both getting church and water access. So water is over here, church is over here. It's market that's too far away. Oh, this is heavier than it looks. Stop this here. Now what we can do, I haven't done it because I've actually sort of been clearing the area a bit. Um, you can put a forester's hut which will grow um, trees. So uh, at a decent rate. Okay, these guys hopefully will. 256. Now what we can do here is come here. Okay, we're exporting dyes, but for 24, we can establish a trade route. I mean, we don't have to. Some of these require establishing a trade route. This one doesn't um, require it, but after establishing a trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit the region to trade only in this specific good. So we're going to spend this, establish that, to move a lot more um, dyes. That will hopefully build up our regional wealth. Hey, ZZ. Yes, I'm really enjoying the game. Most assuredly. Okay. Now, I'm going to... You're not going to work that post. Got somebody working the sheep farm. Now, we're, now the sheep farm is gathering wool. You know, sharing the sheep large storehouse we have seven wool here okay and we have eight people so what i'm going to do is come over here i think it's this one weaver shop and let's stick the weaver shop yeah right about there that looks good let's up the priority a bit to very high that way i'll get the people off of some over here and get get that done You missed the the battles. A victorious one um, against some brigands, unvictorious against many more people. Just a little while ago. But we need to get income coming in, and wool is one of the best ways. It we can. Um, right now, sheep will grow themselves slowly. But and we can build more and more weaver shops and whatnot. So okay. Now that that's done, we'll just. Put one family work in there. That will leave eight to finish up the houses there that are we're almost done, but yeah. Okay, now we're coming to spring. Now we've got a problem. Right. Let's first get this working here. I mean, they're just 
a little bit more out of this. So we'll get that going. Um, another issue. Let's let's find houses with people. People, right? Okay, we're going to. Uh, oh shoot! I hate how it does that. We're going to add two, two goats in the backyard. Well, goat roots. Okay. Now, what we're also going to do is farming and our fertility. Okay, you can see here how the fertility is going down in the areas where we have been. And if we come here, you can see we that's getting into there. So we have fairly poor fertility over there. Uh, let's well, let's come actually here. Let's uh, oh, it's there. not letting us do this because we messed that up a bit. Okay, well, here. Oh, what? Oh no, it's black. So we we accidentally clicked there. Okay, so here we got 43% fertility. There we would have 30, 33, and there would be 30. So we're gonna we're gonna get this going this winter with. The other thing we're going to do is, is we're going to upgrade this from a hitching post to a small stable. The enemy has been spotted. Okay, what have we spotted here? Okay, now these do look like they're raiders. I've seen this type of stuff before. So, okay, so two groups of 18, they'll come in and burn and do as much destructive damage as possible. Well, we've got a little bit of time here. I'm going to let them get a little bit closer. Keep things going. Mission completed. Raiders near. How is this mission completed? I don't know. Yes, yes, we know. You're spotting enemy units, yes. And they go hide in the forest and more is coming. They're going to come and burn and destroy. I, I get that. I wish you wouldn't constantly keep pushing my game down to lower speeds. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad day. These things do happen. Okay, now I think we got most of the building projects, including all those plots done. We're going to come over here and we're going to... Um, Call out the armed forces. Oh, we're down retinue down to four. I didn't think we had a casualty. Wow. No, we didn't with the regular guys. Mm. Hey, don't run. Okay, you're not running. Oh, oh, well, now we're up to five. I don't. Oh, maybe it was just them coming out of the house or something. I don't know. Maybe you don't need to run either. The enemy is somewhere over here. Um, warm up. Battle coming soon. Now we have a 
force or a um, gathering uh, over here. Uh, foragers, that's what I was looking for. Okay, we're going to do double line. Double line there. Yeah, probably in the loo. But I still think they're there. We're just not seeing them because they're in the forest, is my opinion. I still think there's two two units of, what was it, 18 or 16 or something like that. So let's move up to here. I don't know how much forests affect the battle. Including like archery. Could be there somewhere. Now, I, like I say, I have a forage, forager's hut here. Don't know if, with not having people there, if that spots them. I definitely in an earlier game. Having, uh, they get spotted by workers as they were sort of roaming around. So maybe it takes, when, it, when especially in the forest, it takes getting in li eye, eyesight line. But I don't think they've gone away. Where? Oh, right in front of us. Okay. There we go. No, 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 no. Hold. These guys here. They're okay. They're all pushing to towards the center a little bit to open. Crush them on the flanks. Okay, they got they broke through my line a little more than I like. You guys, yeah, you guys, um, push forward on these guys. The archers aren't very combat effective in melee in this game. At least these light archers. Okay, another another group of baddies have showed up there. Okay, I'm I'm not doing well. Okay, one group's down. These guys pack up over here. Okay, archers shoot shoot some arrows at them, will you? Maybe. No, they're all they're all badly. The, these brigands have like maces. They're 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 actually rather crappy units. Come on, lad! Come Kill them all! Okay, maybe they're too close to shoot. Okay, well, I'd rather not lose anybody. Than... Okay, so these these. This unit here is rather effective. This unit 64. The enemy are down at 79, but we outnumber them. These guys push forward. Well, the trees seem to be sort of containing them a little bit. Okay, they ran away. Some somebody ran away. They pushed up more into combat. Looks like we've lost one of our guys. One of the one of our retinue. That is not good. That means I'll have to buy a new one. So I did get some money. Instead of expanding, it'll be replacing. 
but I did not handle this as well as I could. Maybe I, maybe I should have stayed out of the forest and let them come. Okay, well, we're down to 15 of them. Let's, okay, these guys here, um, push forward. Alright, well, our, our militia are doing fine. Okay, so they've, they've now been defeated. We did lose one guy, it looks like. One of the retinue. Alright. So that is the action here. Let's, let's disband you guys. Let's disband you and disband you right and so we're down to four out of a possible 12 living in this manor house um, so if I want to get more we can um, recruit men at arms it'll cost us 50 and we so if we do this and this we're gonna do that and we now have 25 left so now we've actually gone up one obviously from what we had before so we're at half strength now um again if you haven't been watching earlier stuff we can come and recruit mercenaries like these would be like thugs like we just beat um, but they, these are monthly costs, not one-off costs. Now, if we want to expand our retinue, what we can come here and open up Castle Planner. This allows us to build walls, as you can see here, like that. Uh, it will throw a gate if there's a um, uh, road to go across there. We can build an outer tower here, um, and this will increase garrison space for 10. Provides, yeah, gar garrison units and villagers to shoot projectiles at. Um, this increases maximum retinue size by 12. So this, this is for garrison, you know, if we put the archers in here, I think, and they will shoot out. Where this is actually like more housing. And this is the tax office. It's just cosmetic only currently. So this will increase the retinue size by 10. Limited one per region. So if we put this down somewhere in inside the, the keep area here. We can go, um, I think, what is it yet? Yeah, 12. Yep. And we have currently a, um, a currently um, retinue size of 12 if we hire out. So we can go to 24. And we could get more as we put more of them around. So that's what we'll need to do to be able to take on and try to militarily retake some of or take some of these um, territories that our enemy has taken. Um, and we can also, and we're going to need to, um, generate wealth through um, the weaver shop here by, um, you know, wool and whatnot and then tax the wealth and we will hire um if we were to um okay uh we can claim this with our influence so we're actually going to start um press yeah we will do that so we're claiming this through influence not through conquest but we've just gotten up to there so that that is our current state of things. So yeah, um, I guess we'll end this episode here. I want to thank everyone. If you're new around here, of course, remember to subscribe. If you haven't already, post comments, questions. Um, of course, you can also hit that like button. I uh, hope I've earned that. Thank you, everyone. See you next time for more, yes, more historical gaming.
And I think we'll probably end the live stream here. It's been a lot of fun. Um, good hanging out with you all. Bean Slam, Arno, Mike, if you're still around over on Rumble, uh, ZZ, uh, Eric. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, that was a bot. Yeah. Um, let's just scroll up here. Who else am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting. Oh, Folk is still around. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, I don't know if Toy Jet's still around at all. You know, Sing and I don't, um, Mike left, but is Ragar still here? But yeah, thank you guys. This is um, a really fun game. Uh, I think right now it just limited because it is in um, early access. Access. Uh, I and it's gone up considerably in numbers already in the last few weeks so i don't know what it will be when it um re is released i do know uh, i haven't really watched much of it but kingdom come kingdom come deliverance 2 i guess has been announced but i don't know how quickly that is. i don't know if they've even announced a release date um for that but that's like coming someday and much sooner i do believe because I, I don't know when kingdom come is um release date but fairly soon is field of glory um what um kingdoms yeah gotta remember which version of the name is a more higher scale more like more like this scale and um, medieval game with, um, you know, added with the battles from, if you have it, Field of Glory 2 Medieval game. If you're wanting more of a war game that has management attached to it. So, you know, everybody, you know, get the, get the game that most, you know, I mean, get them all, obviously, if you want, but what, the game that fills your needs the most. I'm not trying to push any one of these games on to you, um, but just wanting to, to f feature them. So, because I'm really enjoying this game, and I, I hope, yeah, as Beam Slam says, it's it's rather polished. It's rather well, and and we, you know, and and they're they're being smart here. Um, like, you know, a lot of these things are just turned off in early access. Um, I don't know when, you know, work in progress, locked in early access, worked in pro, you know, so some of these elements here are just off now. They probably, I'm just guessing here in some beta versions have a bit more of these working because these are, are locked here. These are the two that we can do hunting grounds, but I don't want to reduce my yields by 50% and citizens skip every, I would rather... I think I can feed my citizens, so I don't haven't been using these production. Don't even know what this is. Obviously, it's blank here. So there's a lot that they've planned. I think for this game, um, don't know what it will look like at re public release for the early access version, which is coming very soon. So yeah. So thanks everyone. Yes, tomorrow Arno six point seven. Especially if we can play Germany, because that way. Um, Dino Felis will be able to play with us um, at that level. Or we can go lower and play our, our allies with him either way. Um, but yes, Arna, we can do some of that. Um, tomorrow with War Thunder. Monday, oh, I think I, I'm playing on uh, Monday and Friday. I think I'm streaming for Slytherin. I know Monday I am. Uh, I think Combat Mission or something tomorrow. Or Monday, I mean. Um, well, he, well, that's what I say is go lower. So he, whatever he has to grind up. If you would rather, if you'd rather go lower in the allies and have him play a few missions to grind a bit, or if you want to be at six seven, and that, because I don't want to make it too hard on him. Um, so, I, you know, I don't want to drive people away, Arna. So yeah, um, so long, so long as everyone's playing nice, I don't want to drive people away. Um, so I want to thank you all. Uh, hopefully see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good day or evening.